Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything is going to be okay. I'm making another Waking Titan report right after the live drop event that I live streamed. Uh, it was an in-game event on PS4, and basically what happened was, if you didn't watch the live stream, uh, Emily gave us a first portal address, and we you put in that address and it takes you to a planet. I had been thinking that there might be a base or a comm station that we had to read. Instead, they just named the planet. So you just needed to look at the name of the planet, and the name of the first planet was um, Coffee, and that's with the letter O capitalized. So what you do is you go to the SATCOM-70 uplink app and put in the word coffee with the letter O capitalized and then it gives you a conversation between Emily and Simon, one of the dreamers we're trying to save, and he talks about how that has to do with his brother, like his brother likes coffee or whatever. And then Emily, at the end of the conversation, Emily gives you a new portal address. So then you go to that portal address and then the next planet, um, the next planet has a name and you enter the name into the Uplink app and it gives you another portal address. I'm not gonna, um, I'll put the Uplink app uh, in the pinned comment and I'll put all of the words so that if you want to, you can visit all these planets that were involved in this live drop. If you're on PS4, you could use creative mode if you want to, if you don't have the portal glyphs yet, and you can visit all of these planets. Um, there's not, you know, much special. All it, all it is is the name of the planet. It was the code that we needed. However, since a lot of people went to these planets during this event, there's lots of comm stations, and who knows, maybe there'll be other people hanging out still. I ran into a lot of people's orbs during the event. So if you want to recreate the live drop event and travel to each of these planets and also do the SATCOM uplink app conversations, you can do all that. So like I said, I'll put the I'll put the uplink app link in the comments and all of the words that you need to enter so that you can do this whole live drop event yourself. It's not live anymore, but you can still go back and do all of it. Um, so what we ended up getting, well, a few things, but one of them was all of the capital letters in the words um, gave, uh, gave the word London. It, you, you had to reassemble the letters. It was an anagram for the word London. So people started to assume that we're going to get another um, London live drop and more about that in a minute. But another really important thing that we talked about in the live stream was um, the security diagnostic um, activity that people did. Uh, like I said in the last report, it caused it caused the servers to be shut down that players said needed to be shut down, and I think we ended up shutting down a total of five servers. And related to that, or possibly a, a result of that, um, the dreamer Tariq died. Now, Tariq was the guy that was a Ware developer or Ware research person um, or tech supervisor or something like that. And I guess he was supposed to be in there because he was infiltrating Emily's servers and putting in the malware or whatever. It's kind of a scary thought 
either we caused Tariq to die by deleting the servers that he'd put corrupted data onto, or closing the servers, deleting the corrupt data on them, or the other possibility is that Emily, when she determined that the corrupt data was coming from him, Emily may have actually terminated him. I don't know that for sure, but that is a possibility. We're not sure what caused Tariq to be killed. It was either, well, ultimately it was Emily's doing because we were telling Emily what servers to shut down and what data to wipe. Um, so I think, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, it is a very scary thought. Obviously, he's just a fictional character, but our actions may have resulted in his death, but also I think Emily's actions also may have killed him, whether that was really her intention or just deleting that data caused him to die. I don't know. But anyway, so the dreamer Tariq has died, sadly. Um, obviously he was a bad guy, but I never rejoice at the death of anyone, even a fictional character. Um, so then after the whole live stream event, we got all the words solved. Um, and then the loop 16 command on wakingtight.com changed to hi Natalie. And for a while people didn't know who Natalie was. I thought maybe it was a dreamer that hasn't been connected yet, but it turned out that Natalie is Cobra TV's Discord manager. So it was kind of a nice little aside that Emily said hi to Natalie, I guess. Um, and then about an hour later, later, loop 16 command changed again, and she said, thank you, CSD. And at about that time, element five unlocked. During the whole live drop event, element five was like slowly increasing um, its decryption progress bar, but yeah, a couple hours after the live drop started, we got element five. Element 5 is another audio file. I haven't been ac actually able to hear it yet because um, I'm only on PS4 and PS4 doesn't like to allow most audio files. So I'm not able to listen to audio files. Hopefully someone soon will put it onto a YouTube video. And if so, I will put the YouTube video in my Waking Titan playlist so you all can listen to it easily. Although, if you just go to the Myriad dashboard, you can just click on the element and it'll take you to the Clip It um, link. But anyway, somebody, I believe it was Cheryl Mist on um, Atlas CSD, but I think she got it from the Discord. Um, the Discord, somebody wrote down everything that they could hear on the audio file. I, it's not quite as exciting as the last audio file we got. It, from what I've heard, it sounds to be a woman's voice talking. Someone even said it might be Elizabeth Layton, but we don't know. But the voice was talking and it said something along the lines of, solar flare caused frequent gas eruptions. Core completed their work with minimal loss of life. Collected minerals highly valuable. Assisted Corvax with industrial mission. Something salvage crew performed cleanup operations on nanite infested battlegrounds. Nanite vault contained. Harvested valuable scrap found large mineral deposit during planetary survey, collected significant valuable ore. Something mineral analysis failed to record any radio radioactivity. Something material loose in the hold. Something components burned returned home to the fleet. I'm not sure what to make of this audio file. It might be listing activities that we can do in the next update. It's not, it's not a lot 
new stuff. The solar flare is a little confusing. Like right now, we don't... For one thing, you can't fly close to a star in No Man's Sky. That's something that people have experimented with for quite a while. Um, like at the beginning when a No Man's Sky first came out, you couldn't fly near a sun. And just recently someone else on Atlas CSD tried to do it and he got like a million, a million miles or whatever the in-game unit of measurement is. And the game just started to bug out like crazy and they never could reach the sun. Um, same thing happened the first time someone tried. Now it's saying solar flare caused frequent gas eruptions. I don't know if that means that we're going to have more of a real star in star systems now because all it is is just a white glowing ball in the sky. It's not... stars are never... they never look like a sun. They never look like the sun does with like solar flares and coronas and all that. So I don't know if this could be a hint that we're going to get like solar flares causing things to happen on planets. I don't know. Then it says core completed their work. Not sure what that means. Um, collected minerals. Obviously we can collect plenty of highly valuable minerals right now. Assisted Corvax with industrial mission. You can do that now. You can take missions from Corvax and the space stations. Um, salvage crew performed cleanup operation and this is the part that got people really talking um, cleanup operations on nanite infested battlegrounds so some people are saying maybe that has something to do with PvP if you kill another player they drop nanites and that's the reward for killing other players um, or maybe killing something else. Obviously we can get nanites by killing sentinels, so it could just be referring to a battlefield when you kill a sentinel um, and you get nanites. Uh, and then it says nanite vault contained. Not sure what that means. It could mean... I mean there are the boxes at crashed freighters that you can get nanites out of. That could be a nanite vault. Um, harvested valuable scrap. That's kind of the same as harvesting crashed freighters, found large mineral deposits, that's normal, collected significant valuable ore, same thing, uh, mineral analysis failed to record any radioactivity, not sure what that means, material loose in the hold, now that's interesting, um, currently we don't really have holds, we have a item inventory in our freighter and in our ship, I don't know what it would mean for material to be loose in the hold. Um, and then something components burned. And then th this one got me a little interested. It said returned home to the fleet. Now obviously we have fleets of freighters that appear in star systems. But if this is a player talking, players don't really have fleets. We can only have like one freighter and, and well six starships in your freighter. I guess that could be your fleet, but you can't own a fleet of freighters. Might be cool. I mean, we're going to have a four-person multiplayer. I guess if you had four people with four freighters, that would kind of be a fleet. I don't know. Could this be a hint that we could become a member of a fleet or something? I don't know. Not sure. There's really no specific new... Um, feature that this audio file confirms, at least not at this time. But anyway, moving on, um, okay, soon after we got Element 5, the extranet on the Wear website started to change a lot. Um, at Watching Titans Twitter reported um, many, many, many changes to the Wear website. I should have looked at it. I forgot. I was writing all this other stuff down. Um, I'll go look at it and see what has changed. Uh, I need to look up the password for the extra net that we got a while back again. I'm sure it's on Game Detectives. But if you all want to investigate that, you can go to the Wear website and I'll try to find the password so that you can go look it up too and put it in the pinned comment. 
And then last of all, the most important, well, one of the most important things, at about 6.20 p.m. Central Time today, July 6th, Friday, the precon 7 command on wakingtitan.com updated again to say precon data dump and then it gave a bit.ly link and I'll, li I'll link the bit.ly link in the pinned comment again as usual. Um, this gave us an image of an above view. It's basically a map of part of London. Like, like I said, we got a hint from the live drop, the in-game live drop, that there might be a live drop in London, and now we got this picture of the, a, the map, a map of London, and it is specifically centered on the British Museum. And there's hex code on the image that says Saturday 14 o'clock BST, which is about 2 p.m. British summertime. So it seems that at 2 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday, we will be getting another live drop at the British Museum. We've already had two live drops in London. Um, one was at, sorry, Old Ben Clock Tower, and then the other one was also at the British Museum, both of which L Plays Gaming was at. So I tweeted L Plays Gaming and Robot Boy, who were at that first London live drop. Um, I don't know if they'll be going. I hope they will. It'd be pretty cool to get another live drop that those guys attend. Um, but yeah, we're having a live drop at 2 p.m. at the British Museum in London tomorrow. Don't know what it's going to be, but I'm sure it'll be something interesting. Oh, it might be uh, Simon's brother, Alex. Uh, that's my guess anyway, because the conversations, if you do them, seem kind of not totally concluded. Um, so Simon, Simon might still need some kind of word from his brother Alex before he's ready to be extracted. I don't know. Or it could be something totally different. It could be something about where, because the live drop in London last time was from where. So this live drop might be about where. I don't know. But anyway, we had the in-game live drop, we got a new element, audio file, not totally sure what new features it tells us about, and we're having a live drop tomorrow in London. So that about does it. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything is going to be okay.